everybody loves to talk about the Battle of Jericho and how the children of Israel marched around the city, you know, each day. And on the seventh day, they marched around seven times. But I don't think that we really understand why they won the battle unless you understand chapter 6. In Joshua chapter 6, the children of Israel are at Gilgal, and God tells them to do something extraordinary. They already know that Jericho is terrified of them. Their hearts melted because they heard about the exploits of God at the Red Sea and other places. And now they're at Gilgal, about to cross the Jordan. And militarily, this is not a good spot for them just to wait around for a while. But that's exactly what they did. God said, listen, none of you men have been circumcised. As you wander around the desert, that's one of the main things I had told you to do, and you didn't do it. And now I want you to get circumcised right before this battle. Now, if you recall in Genesis, and I'm sure they would have remembered, that there was a whole town of Shechem that was murdered because they got circumcised, and then people came on them to battle, and they couldn't fight. Well, when God says, I want you to get circumcised, they knew that they weren't going to be able to fight, and every man got circumcised. And until they healed, they couldn't fight, and they were right across the stream from Jericho. Easy pickings for these guys from Jericho. But what they did was they put all their chips on God. They said, it's either God alone or it doesn't happen. It's not going to happen by our military might. It's going to be God. Uh, you know the story of how it ends. They went into Jericho. The walls fell down. God won the battle for them. But they don't win without Gilgal. And uh, it's interesting. You're going to read in chapter 7, the first part of it, that they forgot why they won. They, they lose at Ai. They think, oh, we got this. No problem. This is a small city. We, we can take this one. It's easy for us to forget God alone. He's everything. And God will tell you to do some things sometimes that don't make any sense. God's going to tell you, hey, I want you to do this. You're going to say, but this makes no sense. I'm vulnerable. I'm in trouble. I, I could get pummeled. And God's going to say, listen, I've got you. Make God alone your theme today. As you make decisions, make God alone the theme of your decisions today.